I want to put away my guns, please. Wired head. Sounds like another BD-ish place, too. Medical assistance? What's this? Ripper dock? Got a lot of iron here. I have a bad experience some years ago. I want insurance. Now I'm curious. One of my clients, he lose his mind right here in this chair. He howl like an animal, expose his blades. He charge me. Then I have no gun, only a scalpel. I try to defend myself, but I lose one eye, four fingers and a kidney. Still, I survive it as you see. I promise to myself every day I will not be unprepared again. We only have one life. We gotta make sure we... Yeah, we gotta make sure we keep our life. This patient of yours? Cyber psycho, you think? I do not know. For me, cyber psychosis is an empty word. A label we give to people who are bad, evil, from cyberware or not. That's never been my impression of what a cyber psycho is. It feels like a mental illness to me, so not like evil. Looking to upgrade my chrome. Okay, you sit, be comfy, and we will start. Do you have... You do. But I'm not sure if I want to buy some from you because I'm pretty sure Vic might have had better ones. And I want to make sure that I'm getting the best bang for my buck. 10 base RAM, biotech, make 3. Mark 3? Oh, I have enough money, but it's 27 street cred. I can get this one, but it seems like kind of a ripoff, doesn't it? I mean, I feel like it does. $15,000. You know what? I'll save it for Vic. Vic is my friend, so probably things will cost less with him. Maybe. <laughs> Street cred? Street cred? Okay, I can't get anything here. Basically, if there's words on the icon, it means we can't get it, right? Cata resist? Okay. Protect me. Nervous system. Allows you to aim and sh shoot while dodging. Increases evasion. Slows time when you are detected by enemies. Okay. Could be interesting. I'll leave it at that for now then, because that's all we can get. Seemingly. Bionic lungs. Okay. My hand. Yeah, we're not good enough. They just don't want to give us very many things. If I want to pay you, you should be just doing it anyway, shouldn't you? Do you really care if I'm not cool enough to have it? I wouldn't think so. That cost me a pretty penny, though. Okay. We're back on street level, I think. We were a little bit below. Oh, hey, we're here. Yeah, hey, it's all loaded and not like... Doesn't look like a bunch of people got murdered anymore. <laughs> Where is this place? Uh, The marker and the line are in two different places. It's a little bit far. Maybe we should just... SOS? SOS? Well, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. And maybe it's better for me to just use a car here. Oh, it's not a car. Where is the arch? What's over here? Yeah, so earlier, was that a bug or what? Because I don't think I can get back the car again. My own car? That one is... Like, are we ever gonna get it back? I don't know. 
Okie dokie. I saw that. I was bald for a second. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Motorbike seems nice. In terms of like traveling and maneuvering. Because we're a lot smaller. We can go between cars and stuff. But of course, if we crash, it's going to be spectacular. <laughs> oh, we just missed a question mark, but that's okay. We'll do one thing at a time. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't do that, please. Thank you. Thank you for sparing my life. It's a tiger claw club. Did I scare you? Sorry, it, my driving might be a little bit reckless. Hmm. All it takes is a sip. I'm just here to enjoy the club. Is that all right? Maybe take some of your scraps. Elevator. Jinrui yo kono aji wo shire. Humans, uh, learn, uh, learn this taste. Is it like a sports drink, maybe? Oh, there's my, my thing is kicking in. Oh, the neural processor thing. Let me get out of that one. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. I mean, we could just go in and... This guy doesn't care. This guy's okay. That guy, though. This guy cares. By the way, why does... Uh, why do I have 5 RAM now? When did I get an upgrade? I'm not even sure. Oh my freaking god, that's a lot of people. Do we wanna... I mean, they're killing me on sight, so I don't feel like this is a club that we can just go in. Smart weapons require a smart link to unlock the full potential. Ooh. Okay. I mean, it's a club though. Am I not allowed to visit a club? The answer seems to be no. Yep. Maybe breach? If I can see the people, that'll be a really big help. 55. I want ice pick though. 55. E9. Hmm, I can't really get it here. 55. E9. Oh, can I? There's no one C. 55. 55. E9. Okay. Just pinging and seeing the people around here. Oh shit! <laughs> I was gonna mark him, but I... What the hell? You're shooting me through the freaking stairs. That's not cool. I'm overheating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone's trying to hack into me, I think. No! I was... Okay, we're going in hot. They're trying to overheat me. Yeah, someone did a hack on me, I think. I... I was gonna mark the guy, but I accidentally freaking threw a grenade instead, so that was... Yeah, someone's trying to hack me. We've got some net runners here. It's okay, these guys are Tiger Claws. Man, we could've... we could've had a great time here. Doing some stealthing, but not today. It's you! 
Oh, they're gonna finish uploading. Frick. It's... That probably weakens us. You know what? We also need to switch to a non-EMP grenade. I've still had EMP grenades the whole time. Char incendiary. This seems crazy. Sticky bombs? I'll just use a normal one. Again? We got a net runner here. Shoot, he's still overheating me. Why am I not allowed? Reminds me of this one dive in Arroyo we used to sometimes do sets in Friday night. Because. Because it was one tough fucking joint. One wrong word, one sideways glance, you'd get steel between the ribs. I'd probably appreciate you talking to me while I'm not like this. Oh! Okay. Who's- who's hacking me? Somebody over here? Wait, is this Leah? Who is this? Random person? No. It is a random person. Whoa, they're so fast! What the hell was that? Oh, some kind of a cool mod! Can I have that? Oh, wow. Cool, I don't know what that was, but that was... Pretty sweet. Hello? He's having fun with his BDs. We don't have to disturb him. Fine. Let's get this over with. Show yourself. If the equipment is right here, that's all I came here for. 551C. Oh! Oh, I aimed for the first one. Hmm. Okay. There's still one person mad at me, right? Is it the person who is in a BD right now? If you just let me come to the club like a regular customer, like, I'm not sure why you guys got so mad. It didn't have to be like this. 55... 1C, 1C. Didn't look like a bad place here. Why is there an access- what? What am I plugging into? <laughs> BD 551C. Can I go backwards? Like if I pick 55 here, can I go back up again? BD 551C. Regal water, whatever that means. Mm. Probably should have turned this off earlier, if we could. Someone is still mad around here. Is it you? Are you happy? That was considered stealth, somehow. Was that the only person we were looking for? I guess so. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't care about your kids. They're not my kids. Leah's equipment. This could have been a nice long stealthing thing, but um... Hey, we finished it quickly. Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth. Oh, shit. 
We have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, Skeleton key? Kana? Did we see Kana? Kana to Masia. Hey, got that lock break and dirt cheap, if you know what I mean. Oh, that chick Leah was so dumb. She came with a tech, no hustle. So we blasted her before she could even open her mouth. Anyway, find a buyer, Chim. And I mean, if you want to throw 10% my way, I ain't gonna complain. Kana, you're brain dead fucking gonk. Leah didn't bring hustle because she knew only the dumbest fucking moron would lift a finger against her. Whole damn city knows she's working with Wakako. And you don't fucking touch Wakako's people, unless you got a good, and I mean a real fucking good reason. No way Wakako lets this slide. You gotta bust ass over to Wirehead, turn that dump into a goddamn fortress, and if you don't, you're gonna join Leah real soon. Masia. Oh, that's why we can't visit normally. But how did they know, though? That tiger claw in the beginning, he immediately knew I was coming to... I, oh, I guess because no normal customers are coming here right now? Bingo. Come to mama. It's just sitting here. And to think so many people died for this tiny little shit speck. It's not the size that counts. Both you and I know no one actually believes that. Oh. Do you feel like people don't believe that? Oh, it's not so bad. Alright. It was just sitting on the desk here, that's all. We're out of here then. I really don't feel like this today. Show I will show myself if you really want me to. I've never taken the elevator. Come out. Who takes an elevator during a freaking emergency? This is an emergency, isn't it? I'm coming out now. Meet your neighbors. Whoops. We have quite a flight here. Well, the Tiger Claw doing some window cleaning probably would get mad at me. Come on, guys. I let you live. Look, I'm being so nice here, okay? I'm not even killing you guys. Whoa, katana lady! Uh, can we not fight in the middle of the streets? I value not being dead. Yes, illegal activity. <laughs> it did hurt, didn't it? My pride says I should kill you, although my head says I should leave before the police comes. This lady here, how is she so fast? I love it. A melee user. Not one that we come across often. Oh, she's switching. Dude, the reloading on this freaking shotgun takes 20 years. What a coincidence! I love Blood Red too. Sorry, Wakako. I'm sorry. She's probably gonna get mad at me. V, in your line of work, one must be quick and punctual. Since you seem to struggle with both, I figure you could use a motorcycle. If you can only have one, let it be the best. The Yaiba Kusanagi. I happen to have one for sale. <laughs> what is this? They're all like trying to neg me into buying their cars. <laughs> If you have a good car, just tell me, hey, I got a good car. If you want it, it's yours. You don't gotta like... Why do you all have to insult me in this? It's so... <laughs> okay. Oh, we don't have to go back to Wakako. 
Oh, there's like a different thingy here. There's a crime that we accidentally solved because the people got mad at me anyway. James Ishihara and Kuniko Aso. Got some biz. Hmm? Storm Broad Street. Slap on the wrist or bullet to the brain? Bullet. Doesn't want to pay? Why not? Says he doesn't need protection. So a gonk. Even hired some hustle of his own. Zero the whole bunch. Mercs are animals. 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 Oh, animals. There's a gang called the animals. Right. For some reason, we can look through everybody's text records when they die. I guess because we're looking at their phones. Kenka Joto? Good at fighting, arguing. I think it's like a phrase for gangs to be like, Hey man, I'm so tough. <laughs> Bozo Tenshi. Rampaging angels. <laughs> the tiger claws are rampaging angels. Ah, oh, you can open this. Can I have this car? Would be helpful. Well, that's nice. Accidentally solved two problems in the same fight. Yeah, yeah, nothing happening here. Run along now, everybody. There's a draw point here? Up or down? How do I know? Oh, there's only one. Back to the main flooring. Oh, we're deep into Tiger Claw territory, aren't we? Here we go. Good. I see you were able to find the lock breaker. Splendid work. Keep it up. Closing the contract. Great. Oh my god, though, this whole time, I've been planning on going back to GD for automatic love, but it's just that we're getting distracted by stuff on the side so much that I haven't even been able to get back after like an hour. That's insane. Let's go back to Judy now. Oh, but we can meet Takemura here. Danger high. Is meeting Takemura a main job? Well, why don't we go talk to Judy first, because I like keeping Takemura waiting. <laughs> I like keeping him waiting. Got a problem with that? Oh, by the way, we have a lot of points. Four attribute points. Let's put it into... Cool. And then the four points. Movement speed? Oh, I never tried doing the thing about jumping onto people yet. We haven't really been at that kind of height advantage. Crit chance by 15% while sneaking. Throw knives. Well, throwing knives, getting people stealthily. Why not? Deal more damage to human enemies. There are non-human enemies? Oh, like robots? Okay. Weapon recoil... After defeating an enemy, gain cold blood for 10 seconds, and increase movement speed by 2%. So what's actually cold blood then? The skill is called cold blood, and you're saying gain cold blood. Is it just the increasing movement speed? Guess I'll take it. Body... Hmm... Right now I feel like it's okay. The, um, the combat might be a little bit on the easy side, on normal. Which is kind of like The Witcher too. Once you play long enough, normal becomes too easy and hard is really more normal. Yeah, so maybe now would be a good time for us to switch up to hard too. And also because when things are too easy, you don't really feel an urge to really explore the game's combat systems. So yeah, maybe after this, let's switch to hard. Oh, I've never even tried blocking anymore, because we haven't used a melee weapon, that's why. Hmm. Annihilation, shooting with a gun. Okay, dude, you need to reload that freaking shotgun faster. Because the way we reload right now is like, takes forever. 
Yeah. If I want to increase the difficulty... It's right here. Okay, and then we'll see how that goes for a little while. Oh, you gotta reload the whole thing? Okay. Probably this will mean that we have to take advantage of stuff like cover more. Yeah, because right now, it's pretty easy to just go Rambo and be like, boom, boom, go up to people and shoot them. But not so much anymore. It's like that one club that we went to, the ho -Oh club, where that turret got me so quickly. I imagine stuff like that's gonna happen more often. This is yours. Croissants! You shouldn't have. Thank you. How's it going? Okay. Judy? Is there anything that's around me that's not Takemura? Of course there is. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. But it's all like high difficulty. Oh, there's a there's a taxi here. A cab. Something is happening in this area too. There's a lot of different things going on. But you know what? It's been a while. Let's go to Judy. I called for the car. That is... Wait. Why are you all the way over there? Yeah, here we go. Excuse me, excuse me. Just a girl trying to get to places. Lizzie's bar. Oh my god, whoa! Oh, oh. We are playing with life here. Ah! Whoa! Oh. I don't know how I'm not dead, but okay, I'm taking it. Hold on. Duh! Uh, no, 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 we gotta go this way. We gotta go this way. <laughs> this is somehow working out. But let's try not to hit pedestrians, okay? I'm pretty sure if we hit a civilian, that's gonna count as me trying to be a violent criminal. And, you know get the police on my ass. What? Oh, I went across that police crime scene. You're joking me. Oh, they're so sensitive. It's easy to get rid of them anyway, but jeez, man, that was really sensitive. Back to this bridge again. Okay, that's a car, right? Hi V, got a quartz waiting to be checked out. Fine machine, well taken care of, polished to a shine. Bought it off a certain gentleman who was a little whacked when it came to cars. Huffing and puffing in his garage day in, day out. Until that is. His wife filed for divorce. All cars had to go to pay the legal fees. Let me know if you're interested. Maybe. Pretty happy with Jackie's motorbike right now. Although, Mama Wells did say, hey, don't get scratches on it, and I, uh... Well, it's still functional right now. So that's fine, isn't it? Little China. Lizzie's bar is in Little China. Uh-oh. Oh, down, down below, here. Almost went up the highway again. Here we go. Oh, we made it to the destination in one piece. I'd say that's a, that's a pretty good sign. And since we're here anyway, why don't we read about Little China? Or maybe Lizzie's Bar, yeah. Once a third-rate brothel and a sticky dive, today Lizzie's Bar is the bread and butter of the Moxas. The club boasts high-quality brain dances to use in the comfort of specialized booths. You can also see a live show, have a drink, and show off your moves on the dance floor. In 2067, Lizzie's Bar was a scene of a Joy Toy's horrific murder, sparking riots among sex workers, eventually resulting in the gang known as the Mox. Yeah, that was the founder of the bar. Kind of like the founder, the spiritual founder of the Mox. Little China. In the 40s, this part of Watson aspired to be the next city center. Corps invested heavily in the area, putting up towers and cutting-edge clinics such as the med center. That's where you slap down your cred shift for implants, that is, if you wanted to get them illegally. But soon enough, this neighborhood became populated with immigrants, mostly from China, hence the name. 
Over the next few decades, the district became increasingly more populated and diverged from its original plans. Today, Little China is considered a poor district, but its food, smells, neon lights, tucked away little shops and overall atmosphere draws the crowds. Even low-ranking corpos drop in to gamble and put euro-dollar bills into thongs. The sights of suits strolling past the homeless also shouldn't take anyone by surprise here. But that's exactly what happened in the prologue. I landed in a jet car on the roof of Lizzie's bar. And they weren't very happy about that. Hey! Haven't I seen you here before? You have. Got a good memory for faces. We're closed right now. Looking for Evelyn Parker. You know where I might find her? Used to come around. Haven't seen her in a while, though. So she's not a regular here? Or she used to be. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Thanks. You're chill. Rita. Rita and... Mox. <laughs> Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? No, of course not. Hey, sorry, I, uh, you're on break right now. What the fuck? S sorry. Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want us to do now? Beat some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know, use lead. I, I don't care, I just want my room back. Your pimp threw you out, that it? Told me I was generating losses, then just said, have a nice life and slam the damn door. I don't got nowhere to sleep tonight. Still got your body though, don't you? Work it. Don't think I do. Every any I make gets eaten up by upgrades. So I said, fuck it. Got a doll chip. Went to clouds, said they weren't hiring no more. Now I gotta work the streets to pay back my Ripper dog. Doll chip's not all you got from the look of things. Face plates, high design, custom made. Wow, tits too. I invest in myself. Still wasn't good enough. Still told me I was underqualified. Oh, but what are we supposed to do about it? I told you, want my room back. That's all. That ain't how this works, honey. If you were a mox, this would be a whole nother combo. A joy toy. Social status low, health condition poor. I imagine that, you know, having upgrades, this whole modifying your body thing is like an endless money sink. Because if it's essential to your everyday work, just you being a person every day, then you gotta, you gotta fix it, you gotta upgrade it. You have to, you can't not do that. I'm kind of wondering why this lady is green. On the mini-map, she has a green circle. Anyway, I can scan this lady because why? Would you like to talk? Hmm, okay. Slavo McAllister in the news again. Pompous asshole or eccentric genius, acclaimed rocker boy Slavoj, it's probably not pronounced like a J, McAllister has ruffled feathers yet again following his most recent performance at nightclub Totentans. While a rock concert brawl is no big news in itself, several unofficial sources allege it was McAllister who instigated the violent outbreak after hurling a tear gas canister at paparazzi in the crowd. Before the booze fueled melee got heated, the Cardassian duelists premiered new songs Cybernetic Soul, Mind is Freedom, and Cogito Ergo Sum, which as usual have critics divided. Lyrically, the new singles touch on issues such as the internal struggle of body and mind, the limitations of our senses, and the search for absolute truths. Some critics consider the new material pseudo-intellectual drivel, others praise the band's fresh innovative spin on the genre. Beyond the brawl, even the McAllister's headlines are making headlines. When asked in an interview with N54 News what the cryptic title of the track Cogito Ergo Sum meant, the rocker boy replied, He ain't revved by questions from gonk-brained frauds. What are you? What's well, Latin, right? Can't you just get an implant for that? Despite, or perhaps thanks to, the numerous controversies ever swirling around the Cardizan duelist's frontman, his popularity continues to swell. 
The band's new album is slated for release soon, and if you believe the chatter on the net, it will be entitled War of Truths. You know, these guys are all about like... Hey, does Johnny have implants? Because he's always like anti-corporation, right? So does that automatically make him anti-implants, anti-technology? He has a silver hand. Hmm. Thought Moxes only took girls under their wing. Maybe I am one. Why do you care? So anyone can work here. Long as they can make a decent drink or have other talents, why? You handing out resumes? No. Just curious. It's called small talk, but hey, I get it. Maybe you don't like it. Although a bartender not liking small talk might be kind of hard on the job. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Haven't seen her around. And you got no idea where she is. Not the slightest. No idea where she could be. I'm a bartender, not her secretary. No, we already know. Even if this guy knew, he's not going to say anything. That's the kind of guy he is. Want to talk to Judy? The question is, does she want to talk to you? Find out soon enough. Is she in her suite? Probably. Okay, thanks. So I do wonder why, like, was it possible for me to talk to that lady? Mm, there's not much else I can do here, right? Just scan her. Hey, I'm kind of digging the song, even though the club is closed right now. It's just the monks chilling out here. People sleeping around. Literally. I won't disturb you. Maybe we can find a trace of Evelyn Parker in here. <laughs> Jude is embarrassing herself again. Wonder why Sue even keeps her around. You're kidding. Her virtues keep him coming. Keep the lights on in here. That's why. Club would make it off fame alone. Everyone knows Lizzie's. Susie'd rather not test that theory. Can't blame her either. Susie had mocks. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. Thanks. Wow, I came here once and they already recognize me. I really do appreciate that. Done with that you? Yep. Back to the bump and grind. Do they... So we've been here before, but there's new documents. Did I miss it last time? Or do they change things around here? Because that would be kind of cool. Read this one already. How could I ever forget? The mocks. We probably have read this one too. Yes. This is the story about how the lady killed the tiger claw and tiger claws took their revenge. I'm not really that buddy-buddy with Judy. I'm hoping she's going to be receptive to seeing me, but she wasn't happy about me bringing up Evelyn. Yes, so you've decided to meet the chick who put on this first-class shit show. She had a job and you took it because there was no one else to knock some sense into your gonk head. I'm here now, but so what? The search and rescue bullshit's a dead end, but that's not about to stop you. Maybe Evelyn will, who knows? Sure seems like she doesn't want to be found. Girl like that? She seemed very capable of protecting herself. She's probably hiding somewhere really safe. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girls need help, they come here. Last time I checked, we weren't running a shelter. Come on, they all deserve a chance. Anyone could end up useful. Give it some time. They'll pay for themselves. Pay? Chicks can barely take care of themselves. Not when they're face down in the mud. But who knows? Could surprise you. I hate surprises. Mm-hmm. Really feeling that sense of community right now. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Club owner? 
Susanna Quinn. This is an iconic weapon. I was thinking we should probably equip it right now and then put the silencer mod on it immediately. I always forget which one it is. No, not on that gun, the other gun. <laughs> to switch the slots, it's so... Like, there's so many steps involved. Wow, the, the damage is a lot higher. Oh, but this one, each shot is worth more. But this one, I mean, overall, it's telling me that the DPS is higher, so yeah, I'll... I'll switch it. Non-lethal. Make it non-lethal. I need the silencer. Could you please give me the silencer? Take it off. Oh, but I don't have... This one only has room for one attachment. That's the sucky thing. Oh, I can't put the silencer on it. Does it not work like that? Maybe this gun just doesn't... Oh, whatever. Just put it back on. <laughs> oh, because... Oh, okay. The designated slot. There's only a muzzle or a scope attachment here. There's no muzzle attachment. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna keep this current gun then. I mean, I like that I picked up this gun, but... I can't do stealth with it, so I gotta just... Ignore it. I don't even know what assault rifle I had before. But it's an iconic weapon, so I guess we should keep it. And why won't you let me switch to a different gun? That is strange. Okay, well, whatever. I'll figure it out later. Hey, Judy. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Feel like we're being a little bit nosy. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. It does sound like they talked. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. That's the same place that the lady upstairs tried looking for a job at. Clouds. Mega tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Well, thank you for the information, Judy. That was way easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, we've got some sexy servers back here. Actually got some nice shorts here. Well, thank you, Judy. Uh... Bye, I guess. Wait. Um... Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. Yeah, she cares about her. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Clouds. That lady upstairs. Maybe if we piss Judy off, then we could get the same information from that lady? Oh, we can leave here. But why was that lady... searchable then? 
Okay, so she's not a point of interest that she is. She is, but I can't do anything with her. Yeah, maybe just an alternative way of getting the same information, I guess. Thanks, lady. Thank y'all. Rita's gone. Okay. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No pleased to meet you? Hmm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. I'll think about it, maybe. All these fixers, we eventually gotta like... All, there's so many fixers here. If you call me, it's to talk biz. I didn't do chit chat. Alright, got you, boy. Got you. So the mega building H... What the hell? What am I getting hurt by? Okay, that was really strange. Oh, is it the little barbed wire here? Oh! Okay, whoops. Mega building? Didn't we live in H10? We're going to H8 now. It's not that far away. Where is it on the map? Oh, are you kidding me? We're going back all the way there? We just came back from going to that place. Let's do a side job before then, then. Buy vehicle? Oh, that's my house. Yeah, that's my house. What do the numbers mean? Oh, there's two in the area, two draw points. They stick together when the map is small enough. Okay. Hey, there was a there was a thing here. A tarot? Well, we're probably going to be back in the Wait, it was right next to my car. Okay, let's uh let's at least go look at that. Right on the wall. On the wall. Ow, ow, ow. Guys. Please drive a little bit better. Oh, okay. Well, hold on, hold on. Please, don't. The moxes. What do we have here? The magician. Ooh. The fool. The fool is everyone, including you and me. Each step he takes on his journey feels like stepping into a brave new world. Ultimately, the journey will change him. But as the card shows, he's a trustworthy lad whose tireless hope drives him towards his goal. The Magician The Magician is the card of self-confidence and adapting to situations through intellect and sheer will. The Magician is a schemer who always has one last trick up his sleeve, who despite everything, manages to stay afloat and remain in control of his own destiny. Mm, sounds like a pretty good card to find. The Sun Symbolizes success. It is a card of freedom, renewal, and a bright future that lies ahead. The sun also represents truth, for its light will always pull back the curtain of shadow that hides a world's secrets. It also represents greatness and splendor. Well, these are all good cards. That's good. That's a good fortune or something. Okay, you know those fixer guys? How do we even... I think it's a good... it would be a good thing for us to find them first. Is there one near me? There is. Yeah, so was that why I suddenly got the call from the person? At first, I thought that was, um... Oh, it might be the person in the back of the bar. Maybe? No. Go around? I've never really visited them before. No, I still haven't managed to find out whether because they don't trust foreigners here. It's not like anyone's gonna openly accuse Yorinobu of murder. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know their names. People just talk. You know, in bars on the street. But which bars? Sir, we can't just send shock squads into every bar in Kabuki. Sir, there's no need to raise your voice. Of course, we'll stop these rumors from... Yes, I'll handle it personally. You'll have my report on your desk first thing.
the truth can't be suppressed. People know, people talk. So this is the Mr. Hands guy. There seems to be... I don't know if that's like a lighting bug or what. I don't know. I'm too scared to touch the graphic settings usually. I'm struggling a bit with a problem right now where my computer can definitely play this game at higher graphic settings, but if I do that, the recording lags. So I'm trying to find this like balance between having it play okay, but also recording okay. Regina? This is your place? Ooh. Maybe don't touch your turrets. That seems a bit... She might not be happy about that. <laughs> I thought it was Mr. Hands. Hey, I've never met you in person! Regina's associate. Wow, you live in a dump! But a nice dump that oversees the whole city. <laughs> For some reason, there's a random traffic jam here. Hey! Regina, how do you describe Watson in one sentence? The Japanese built Kabuki, but the Chinese lived there mostly. North side used to be plated in chrome, now it's covered in rust. We have an entire aquarium full of corpos, and that's no metaphor. Know what all that comes out to? One sentence is never enough. That's Watson. Watson. Used to be immediate, didn't you? Not hard to guess, but I'll give you a point for perceptiveness. Why you stop? Never stopped, really. Information is a weapon, V. I just traded in for a larger caliber. I do feel like, especially in this sort of corrupt mega corporation society, being a journalist, this journalism, I feel like, is usually associated with stuff like finding out the truth, right? It takes a bit of courage. Especially with, you know, probably bribes and whatever everywhere. Wanted to tell me something? About the cyberpsychosis work? Nothing yet. Need more data points still. This organization running the experimental therapy? I don't know. Not sure I trust them myself. But we need more research subjects for any hope at all. Hmm, so we need to find more people. Just like the Militech lady. Not bad, I kind of like this view. Is that server very interesting, sir? Ooh, you look like a, a netrunner. Regina's hacker friends. But this place is kind of... It is kind of like an actual dump. But they have a lot of cool computers here. They must cost a lot. It looks like in the future... The future is all in one. There's no tower anywhere. It's just this big fat monitor. Okay, well, I guess you should- oh. Yeah, don't turn it on. Don't turn it on. Thank you. Wasn't expecting to see you here. But you made my day. Okay, so that wasn't Mr. Hands. Mr. Hands is in the Pacifica area. I thought that they call us when we get into the area. But maybe not, judging by what we just saw, because I... didn't know that Regina was here. So I'm pretty sure the building that we live in is Mega Building, but that's probably like every apartment building here. It's really... anonymized? No, not anonymized, but like... It's not very personal. Every place is just like, okay, Mega Building 1, Mega Building 2, Mega Building 3. That's pretty much it. <laughs> 